Good morning, YouTubers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The beginning of a new era in the wooden model ship. As you can see before you, is a brand new wooden model ship to build. This one is about the same length. I'm going to pull you over here because in our workshop today we have the San Juan in its case and complete. And we built a little deck for it to sit on and I still have room underneath the deck to put these two carts and work surfaces but she is at home in this position for now we might move her into the museum house later but that's where she's going to stay while we start on this new one and today because we have a new ship we want to do a box open event I got this other table set up here we'll move the camera in a minute after we do the reveal So as you can see, the HMS Bounty here is similar, but no, well, there's two cannons there. There might be a couple more on deck, but there's not a ton of cannons like on the other one. And then the unique feature of this model, which is one of the reasons I picked it out of another warship is that it has this cutaway view to the inside of the ship which is unique in the fact that normal models you don't get to see what's below the decks so this one we will be able to see what's down there which will be nice Let's assume this is our laser cut planks and uh, oh yeah there's some walnut, basswood, dead eyes and pulleys, blocks. Computer parts. It's a grid for the decking. Grills. These look like rum drums. So we got a lot of stuff just in this one piece here. Looks like our sails are pre-sewn on the edge. That's nice. We'll have to get those flattened out. There's all of our rigging rope. Some more laser cut brass. And then all the pins and brass pieces so we got a few cannons there and uh four big ones i think yep those i think are cannons because they got a pinhole in the side of them for setting in the 
frame that holds the cannon. A few little things. Oh, that's probably the wheels for the cannon in there. The little round things. <clears throat> and then, of course, with any wooden model ship, you get a nice bundle of wood. With the masts and the yard arms and all the decking and uh, ribs on the side of the ship. And then one side will be normal, but we got a lot of pieces in here. The darker wood is walnut, I'm sure. That's the bass wood. There's quite a myriad of pieces in there. This is really the part I wanted to show. much different this will be yet as far as directions go it looks like it's going to be a neat model this color let's hope it's all in English or there is English sample there, wood samples there, so there is some English here. I don't recognize any of those words though. Coral, basswood, spa, sapula, and allnut. Maybe they don't know how to write walnut in English. <laughs> allnut. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. According to the dimensions on the box, it's, it's a different scale, but it's a, about the same size, length and width and height as the San Juan was. It's going to be pretty big. There's the lifeboats. And when they give you two pages for rigging, oh my gosh, that's lovely. You got to watch a lot of documentaries on real wooden ships to learn how this rigging really works. So, well, we got a little net railing around the crow's nest so you don't fall off. There's some scale drawings. Oh, yeah. Now I'm really worried. I may have to email. And get me a set in English. This isn't English, I don't think. At least I don't see anything I can read here. I'm in trouble now. That's 
that's going to be the sales. like the last model we got a scale drawing of the side view you can see that's a good idea how big it is and then some more scale drawings Some words here in English, but I don't know if that's the same word in a different language or not. So here's a mast and yard arms. This looks like rigging. Yep, yeah, this is the rigging drawing. This is pretty nice. This is on a little better paper than the last model we built. Well, with the same complication of this is the only book you're going to get explaining what to do. I guess photo means step. So let's look a little deeper here. <clears throat> All these numbers on the column there are going to represent the number on the print. And it'll tell you what it is and how big it is and how many there are in each step. There we go. Okay, we're in good shape now. Before going ahead with assembly on this model, we recommend that you carefully read the general advice. Photo number one, and it's all in English. Woohoo! <clears throat> okay, we're in good shape then. All the way to photo number 112. And there's the English parts list. Okay, we're okay. We're in good shape. There's the general tips they were talking about. Yep, I got some homework to do. I surely do. As we progress 
through some of these beginning steps will have opened up a lot of this and we'll try to mark it up so we can understand what is what as far as those descriptions in the parts list because that makes it easy to pick out what you need as you go along but <clears throat> I'm looking for a description in English here, too. And, uh... That looks like German. <clears throat> I'm sure you got French and... Portuguese or Spanish. I don't even see no English on the box, so at least they got English in the model build. HMS Bounty is a very well known to all the films and books. It is relatively simple, a merchant ship rigged as a frigate. Frigates were known to be some of the fastest ships on the seas used to uh, help in battle with the, the larger warships. And they used them for messaging back and forth. They didn't have radio or any way to talk to each other. So they would use uh, flag signals and lights and stuff like that. And equipped for exploration journeys and common practice, practice amongst all Naves during the 18th and 19th century. So, this is uh, length 980 millimeters or 38 and a half inches, 763 millimeters high or 30 inches and 132nd high. And beam is how wide it is. 355 millimeters, so it's about the same size, if not a little bit bigger than the San Juan. 13 and 31 and 30 seconds for the. And I'm pretty sure the San Juan was a, a 190th scale. This is a 148th, which may be why it looks so much bigger. Um. One quarter inch equals one foot. So, I'm going to look over here on the box cover for the San Juan. Yeah, San Juan is a scale of. 190th that's a weird way to put an American measurement two fifteenths what equals one foot which would be a smaller value than a quarter inch I imagine that's a quarter inch equals a foot Two fifteenths is going to be a smaller value, so this was harder to work on because it's a smaller scale for the size that it is. A quarter inch equals one foot. I would think it's going to be a bigger scale. I uh, I don't really understand that. I should, but uh, 
once we put something like a lifeboat next to the lifeboat here, we might be able to get some kind of references. The difference in that scale, two fifteenths, that doesn't sound like a normal measurement to me. But in this world of metric systems, you never know. <clears throat> or the world of scale. So there's the box opening event for. Uh, this is still 2020. The day after Christmas. Which, by the way, uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to all of you folks out there. But this will be the project for 2021. Woohoo! Thanks for watching.